Today we are going to discuss about one of the usual errors related to event validation in ASP.NET. This error occurs in the following situation. When the page is completely loaded and you are trying to modify the controls from client side and then do a post back, you will get this error. This is mainly because ASP.NET controls will get registered during page load and during post back they will get validated. If any mismatch happens between the page load and the post back, this error can happen. This is a type of inbuilt ASP.NET security that prevents unauthorized post back request. Let's consider how to resolve this issue. Here on my sample solution, I got one drop down list at button. Drop down list contains two entries Sunday and Monday. When we click the button, we will load two new entries for this drop down list from client side. This is the client side code for loading the drop down list. Let's run this application. Now on the drop down list, there are two entries Sunday and Monday. As you can see, when we click the submit button, we got this error. So let's consider how to resolve this issue. For resolving this issue, we got three solutions. First of all, let's disable the event validation. As you can see, there are two entries Sunday and Monday on the drop down list. Let's see what happened when submit button is clicked. On the drop down list, two new entries Tuesday and Wednesday are loaded from the client side. That means we are not getting that error again. Here we are disabling the event validation of ASP.NET, but it's not a good practice to disable the event validation. Let's consider the second solution that is using the update panel instead of client side code. This is the code behind code for loading the drop down list from server side. Here we have committed the client side code for loading the drop down list. Let's run this application. When we run this application and click the submit button, the drop down list will load two new entries without having any error. Let's consider the third solution that means using the classic ASP.NET server side loading without having update panel. Let's run this application. When we click the submit button, the drop down list will be loaded without having any error. These are the three methods for resolving this issue. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please visit technomark.in for more information.